What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock guys. So today's candle is a bit of a red candle. Are we still in that uptrend or this is the beginning of we flushing lower and losing the uptrend that we have formed on intraday levels and are we heading much lower from here? So let's talk about all of that in this video. And I just want to let you know that none of this is any financial advice. It's solely for education purposes. Um, I'm not here to tell you what you have to do. You go and do whatever you want to do. That's completely your decision. I'm just sharing here what I'm doing. And that's all. Nothing more than that. Just my opinion as an educational advice or suggestion, I should say. And um, okay, so let's begin. Um, also, please hit the like, subscribe, guys. It helps a lot if you like, you know, watching my videos. So now what we have had on tesla so far is this higher oh, sorry yeah higher highs higher lows we have also formed these pivots that still this red candle that we have today is still in the definition of pivot and there are some of the levels that i really wanted this week tesla to hold and tesla in the middle of that actually right now so it didn't quite give me that full confirmation for this week, but it's still not in the harm's way that we're going to go lower. So let's let's talk through the things. And over the weekend, I'll be talking a lot more about, uh, you know, weekly intervals and all of that. So, you know, this is a long weekend, so I'll be doing a lot more videos with you, not just on Tesla, other stocks as well. But so let's talk about today's price action, right? Um, so what I want to highlight here is that Yes, Tesla has been breaking all these levels that we have wanted. 175, we got that. Uh, let's go to the hour, four hours. Let's talk over there. There, some things will be clear over there. So we, so I started my long play here. You can see when the structure broke, and I started my long play here at 168 dollar range due to this demand demand confirmation. My stop loss in the zone down here, and then I took some 35 percent profit out here in when we were when we just broke this trend line. And then rest I was carrying, I do have an update. I did sell some more today, 10% more around that in a little bit of this push up. When we, when we broke this trend line um, in the pullback, so well, let me actually show you the hourly interval here. Here we go, yeah. So when in, okay, things are more clear in the five minutes. So when I was seeing this, uh, you know the sell-off and it broke this uh, channel in the pre-market I took some more out in this uh, in this rebound here guys right over here in this first green candle I'm familiar with this a uh, little bit of an upside that happens after the sell-off in the pre-market so I just took this opportunity to take some out and this is the same principles that I follow, size in, size out my position, right? Um, again, this is how I do it. You can do however you want to do it. Again, as I say, I'm not here to tell you what you have to do. So that's what that was that. I'm still carrying like 55% uh, almost my position that I opened at 168. And I'm prepared to size and size out as the opportunity comes because let's go back to the four hours interval again and let's talk about what can we be expecting so this level of so we've got one structure break at 175 dollars that was a good one right and we also got this blue box structure break at 172 that we wanted to break out of we got that as well this week however we still failed at that 180 dollars range this area of the two supplies that you are seeing right we are failing there this week as well again so definitely this structure break i wanted to see tesla go above this uh 180 today or this week i should say and unfortunately we couldn't do that we have broken that now channel as well that tesla was in where this channel came from this was the pivot previous trend line right and then new trend line where the tesla has been finding support so the, that became a channel here we are out of that channel unfortunately today so what does it mean now with, with the price action is tesla still have a chance to go up now now let's talk about that level that I'm, i said that hey it's still it hasn't really broken everything but it's uh something that i would just want to be careful about that's why i took some so i sized out a little bit more today here now 
here we are 175 is the level guys that good thing that tesla is still above this this was one of the critical levels of previous resistance active support resistance breakout which means this breakout is a demand zone here and this was the demand zone yesterday as well so today yes i can see in the end of the market we are so we sold off um but this is the 175 is the last line of defense again at least for now we do have multiple lines of defense here but i really don't want it to break below 175. now if we break below 175 here we are the good thing is that we are still above 200 hours moving average but what i'm trying to say is that in the equation of being bullish our likelihood or pro and probability is getting lower and lower all right um we want to see tesla hold 175 at least not break below that because what it does is that it loses this demand zone the new demand zone that tesla has formed and it pushes tesla then into a different uh, structure so we want to hold this structure which right now i know is not looking very promising but since we haven't closed below that there's still you know you can still have some uh, expectations on this now what we really want to see on the bullish side so this was one of the levels that unfortunately we lost today and the level of 178 and that's where you can see that tesla on um, rebound multiple times rejected over there right so unfortunately at least a couple of days let's say monday and tuesday tesla will have some uphill battle again to change the structure again to the upside on intraday level structure has changed its direction unfortunately unfortunately guys and that was the break of this channel and losing 178 and 19 cents here this level we if we could have recaptured it but even if it stayed lower than 180 but i have gotten above 178 the structure would have stayed intact right now the structure has broken so and that was one of the reasons that i wanted to get out some more position in this rebound because the structure is not there anymore for that particular intraday for us to become bullish again what i want and again i'm open to reload more in these pullbacks but what i want to see is tesla hold 175 at least break this level of 176 and 77 cents let me take it to the five minutes interval now things will get much clearer there at least to get above the level of 176 again and also 177 19 cents if tesla can even on monday get above the this 176 and 177 range i mean i'm still happy you know that's still but this is something tesla has to do but this is also a point that if tesla doesn't get above it it's unfortunately may bring it down to that 200 hours moving average Technically, it will still keep it bullish though, even until 200 hours moving average, but that structural confirmation is not going to be there unless it holds support here and we start to see new pattern form and then we watch for that structure. So what I'm trying to say is that on the longer term horizon, this bull still have a lot of room, but on the intraday's level, it has lost that structure right now at least. So that's why a um, little bit we gotta be careful but and that's that's where this time frame comes into play so on daily interval because i'm trying to help you understand all different time frames here and time intervals there's a difference between time frame trading and time interval trading time interval means five minutes hourly and those then relates to time frame so for example a day or two worth of trade so when I say structure has broken on the hourly interval, that means a day or two of days of structure has been broken. So long plays are tough today. But on the longer time frame, which is swing, we still have room for the reasons we are still above 200 hours moving average on the hourly interval. And also on daily, we have these pivots of higher lows and higher highs. Problem definitely starts to come 175 if we lose that. And then we are again in little, our equation of bullishness will, our yeah, equation of bullishness will start to have less weight. So it's like a pendulum or it's like a strength meter, okay? It's like 
is the strength meter more in this favor of bulls or is it more favor of the sellers right now it's right at that center almost there so but it's slowly and slowly skewing towards sellers and we need to do tesla needs to regain structure on intraday levels to get things back to get things moving again in the direction of the bulls and those structure breaks as i showed you to the upside again that we have to make is we need to recapture 176 dollars level at least which as i showed you on the five minutes interval day trading levels plus and if you need access to my tools that does all these level markings automatically the dashboard and all of this links to my tools and the description below just remember my tools are only for education purposes there is no guarantee of anything all right so that's that and guys that's that's pretty much it i'll talk more about over the weekend i'll cover weekly interval and all of those things um and also you know um this is sticking around 20 days moving average right this overhead resistance of 50 but it's common to see these practices around in the downtrend at this fight between bulls and the bears at 20 days moving average so yeah before playing the game we have to be prepared so let's see uh things are not dire um we just have to prepare ourselves properly based off of the price action that's all all right so let's let's see how the next week opens but as i said i'll talk more about on the weekly interval how things are looking like and a lot more details and the data that will come uh for tesla you know later as well like short volume person data i'll talk about that as well and all of that stuff guys so let's take a look at um if there are any other important news but i'll cover yeah so we have tesla maintained at buy by deutsche bank that's great and yeah so i'll talk about a lot more things guys over the weekend with tesla but this is for the price action okay i'll see you in the next videos guys take care bye